Everybody, it's Mr. Melian Ayinovich, everybody. Hey guys. I really didn't feel like doing this today. Like I didn't want to do it. And then I made myself get in the car and then Bruce Springsteen came on. You know? Can't start a fight. Like my arm and my leg just started doing this, which isn't good when you're driving. Like you really should. Isn't it weird how that dude can just like put on sunglasses and open his mouth a little wider when he sings and call himself Bono and we're all like, yeah, that's a different person. <laughs> My name's Million. Uh, that's pretty weird, right? My name's Million. Um, I was born in Eastern Europe and my parents, they were both raised uh, socialists. Um, and it, it's funny because, you know, all our parents or all our grandparents fought in that war and then went home and fucked. And, and taught their kids really weird stereotypes about the other side, right? So all the weird shit your parents believe about, you know, socialists, my parents have similar stuff about capitalists. Like my mom taught me capitalists, Americans, they're obsessed with money. And I was like, that's not very nice. That's like a weird generalization, right? But then I spent 30 years introducing myself to people. Hi, my name's Million. Like a million dollars? <laughs> million of fucking anything, dude. What the hell is it with you people? Got him. I told you I was going to get him, Esther. I picked you out early. That guy's not laughing. He's going to laugh. I got you. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was, born, uh, I was born in Yugoslavia. It's a country that doesn't exist anymore. Some of you maybe watched CNN in the 90s. Um, a few of you maybe played Grand Theft Auto 4. You know, hey, cousin, let's go bowling. That's, you know. <laughs> Genocide, human trafficking, that's where I'm from. You know, I, uh, at Serbia, the particular part of what used to be Yugoslavia, where I'm from, I'm going to keep talking to you so you can leave. It's going to be weird. <laughs> where I'm from, basically, it's like the Alabama of Eastern Europe, you know what I mean? Right? Like, so, it, it's in the southeast, there's a giant city right in the middle, you know, and you go like 10 minutes out of town, it's like going 100 years back in time. <laughs> Just very, like, everyone's roasting whole goats in their backyard and like making moonshine and stuff. I'm not even making this up. We don't have, we don't have collard greens, we have cabbage, but it's the same bullshit, you know? They're very nice to your face. Uh, but like the most close-minded xenophobes on the planet. Like, where I'm from, people are so racist, we're all white, and we've still been murdering each other every 20 years since, like, the Romans showed up. Anyway, you know, like, we found a way to just hate each other. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's messed up. Like, it, you know, it's sad, like, where I'm from, it was destroyed by a genocide, um, which is a bit sad thing, but, you know, at least my country wasn't built on a genocide, like some fucking people right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I went back for the first time since I was a little kid, like 10 years ago, I was like 25. And there's these weird things that make you realize that you're not, like I'm, I'm from there, but I'm not really from, I'm, I'm an American, you know? You notice these, like the slang, I couldn't get, there's this one thing, when, when you go to a, like, like a fast food place and they offer you the meal deal, the, like, t the, the phrase for it is they ask you saaktium, which literally means with action, what, what are we like taking bets if I'm gonna shit my pants or not? Like, I, cause spoiler alert, I have IBS, so the fix is in. Like, it's this is going down. No shit jokes. You, you liked the white supremacist and laughed at his jokes. That's fine. That's cool. Like, oh man. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I never like. I don't really belong there. I, I'm a foreigner here. I went to Italy while I was visiting there, and I told I was really drunk one night, and I was telling this guy, like, man, I don't belong anywhere. Like, Serbia, I'm an American. America, I'm a fucking foreigner. He's like, my friend, when you are in Italy, you're an Italian. <laughs> I'll take it. That's cool. Italians are like that, especially when they're drunk. <laughs> but I've, I've never really felt like I've belonged anywhere. At this point, my preferred pronouns are we and us, you know? Just so I can feel like I'm a part of something for like a minute. <laughs> I mean, the first time I, I, honestly, like, finding comedy was a big thing, that, but before comedy, the first time I ever felt like I belonged somewhere was when I discovered weed in high school. Oh my God, that just became like my whole personality. That just completely took over. And, and for many years, I was like, I was that stoner kid. And then weed became legal. And that wasn't good. That didn't work for me. <laughs>
Because, like, you know, when you make that your identity, you know, they, when they made, like, weed stores where you could, like, buy, go and, like, buy weed from, like, a shop, I felt like one of those, like, goths, you know, from, like, the 80s, like, the actual punks, when they saw a Hot Topic, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, you took my culture, you took my people, my, and you turned it into, like, if, like, an Apple store listened to Sublime too many fucking days in a row and there was, like, a horrible transformation under the full moon. Ugh. The worst thing about weed being legal, now I don't know anyone who sells mushrooms anymore. <laughs> if I want to go camping, I have to go find, like, actual criminals, or worse yet, deadheads. <laughs> Dude, the Grateful Dead, the Grateful Dead is the musical equivalent of if someone came up here tonight and just told you, like, setups for jokes for, like, two and a half hours straight. No punchlines, just, like, the first half of the joke. And then the next first half of the joke. Just over and over again for an hour and a half. It's awful. Are you ready? That's not very nice. I'm kind of... I'm kind of a judgmental person. Maybe you guys have noticed that so far. <laughs> Taking a few pot shots. I, I, it's true. I am judgmental. In my defense, I would be less judgmental if I wasn't always right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's one of those things, like, you can only work in retail so long and have so many people ask you, is this butter gluten-free? Butter! God damn it! Like, you start thinking you're smarter than everyone. It just happens. Most of my life, like, people seem to think I'm smarter than people, and so, like, now I've become one of those people who thinks I'm smarter than most people. And what I've realized is we're wrong. We're wrong. I'm not smarter than most people. I do have ADD. So, so I do think more than most people, but that doesn't make me smarter. None of that is good for anything. Like, I do two things. I find solutions for problems no one has, and I think about problems that have no solution. You know what I mean? Like... I watched The Office enough times that I realized that Dwight is the main protagonist. You know, that's what that show is about. It's about his journey to overcome all of the people who are holding him back and become the manager and get past Jim. Fucking bad. I, mean, <laughs> I, I sit around thinking about the volcano underneath Yellowstone. Do you guys know about that? There's a super volcano under Yellowstone that's supposed to explode any time now, and when it does, it's gonna like blow off half of the Western Hemisphere, kill everyone. I, I looked into it, because I, you know, that's what ADD does, you just dig into shit. When it, when, it think, when it might kill you, and you can't control it, oh man, that's the shit you wanna think about. So, so like, I looked it up. Turns out, there's zones, there's different zones that they figured out. So there's the primary blast zone, right? The thing pops off like a zit, if you're in this one area, you're dead. That's it, game over. And then where we live is actually the primary ash zone, which means we're not gonna die right away. We're gonna have like a week or two of choking on molten uh, uh, ash falling from the sky. It's gonna be horrible and slow and painful. And I was like, man, that sounds like it sucks. Wouldn't you rather live in the primary blast zone, you know, and just fuck? I looked it up. The primary blast zone is mostly like Wyoming and southern Montana. So I'd rather just choke to death on molten ash for like two and a half weeks if that's the choice. Yeah! Wyoming is the last of the American states alphabetically and in every other respect. Like that's, it's, that's what Wyoming is for. Oh man, there's a reason the speed limit is 95 miles an hour. It's actually 85, but you can go faster. They're fine with it. <laughs> Just get out. <laughs> Just go. Use the wind. <laughs> oh man, what else? Imagine how incredibly obnoxious and self-righteous John Lennon would be on Twitter if he was alive today. It's easy if you try. <laughs> You think we would have canceled his ass by now? You think he'd be done for in 2021? You know, once we figured how he like abandoned his first wife and child and then he beat Yoko and you know, traumatized Sean and was just like a piece of shit in pretty much every respect. Like, would he be over or would he have gotten away with it like those pedophiles from Led Zeppelin? <laughs> I said, come on guys, I'm just, I, I, I still love the music. I'm just glad he's dead, that's all it is. <laughs> Oh man, I think about that a lot, like, going back in time and seeing our heroes the way they really were, you know? 
you go like way back in time and see King Arthur and you know Camelot and you realize he's just a fucking incel and that's why Guinevere left him for Lancelot. <laughs> you go talk to Mother Teresa and have like a really nice long conversation about uh, you know like the actual rights of those brown kids she was saving or like gay and trans rights today. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, Mother Teresa. Whew. Go back to like. 1918 Tulsa, Oklahoma, and see like Black Wall Street, you know, and realize it's full of the same green shitheads that like occupy current present day Wall Street. They're just black, and that's the only difference at all. all right, fine. <laughs> the history joke never lands. Why do I close with that, TJ? Why did I do that? I don't have anything else written down. Fuck. Hakuna Matata is a blatant ripoff of the bare necessities and I will not rest until justice is done. Give it up for TJ. Yeah. Give it up for a million, everybody. Yeah.